Hello there and welcome to my next installment of my DF Hack tutorial series. So for today we are going to go into the Auto Butcher system. So this is a nifty little tool that will allow you to automatically maintain some control over this convoluted mess of a menu. Pretty nifty. So we are going to go over setup and usage. It's pretty simple to understand once you're behind the basics and I personally love that tool. It's it's really a lot easier to manage your, your livestock with that menu compared to this one. So let's get started. First thing you gotta do is you go on over to the auto butcher or to the script menu and you type on in enable auto butcher. That's the first thing that you gotta do. Once you have done that, the auto butcher is fired up. So next thing, you can now use the GUI for the auto butcher. So with the enabling of that thing, you might have noticed first that screen was empty. Now we got here everything filled up. So the game automatically, or, or the script much more, automatically registers how many animals of each type are there. And here we have maximum numbers behind that. And as you see here, when it comes down to my sheep, there's already two more male adults than I have automatically accepted here. You see here also how many of these butchering orders have been already pulled up. So this thing manages itself by simply enabling it. But here we go for some configurations, of course, as well. So you can select any of these rows and define those numbers by yourself. So here's the hotkeys small f and small m for managing the amounts of kids female and male and the capital uh, letters are for the adults you can also just uh, press in capital r and select a number for the entire row it is very very simple you can here also switch between the views so showing between which numbers should be shown here, but I personally like the default one most, butchering ordered versus target max. And this one is basically already all that's uh, to be told there. You can now, of course, set up your own rules for a bad. Few things I want to mention there. The system automatically slaughters the oldest adults and the youngest kids. So whenever there is an automatic butchering happening. So whenever there's an automatic butchering happening like here, these here will be the old, oldest two animals and here there would be the youngest animals. Why is that important? You might ask yourself. It's simply that this way it is ensured that the kiddos will have a fair chance to grow into adults and the adults, well, they won't you won't slaughter your freshest animals and you'll always take care of those who would die of old age anyways. You can here now select for, you can set up an entire butchering command for entire species by capital B and you can remove that by small b. And this GUI is pretty much all you need. I went into the configuration menu here for auto butcher. I read all through all these things and basically you don't need to do any further typing when you're using the graphical user interface it's pretty cool and I can highly recommend it because here I see in one glance how many of each type I have on my base water buffaloes here for example try to keep an exact track of your water buffaloes at that screen that screen ain't even able to to sort your animals according to their type you know so this is one of the shortest df hack tutorials that i've made so far because there is really not that much more to explain but uh you know oh yeah there's one more thing you can also disable auto butcher again so like this then the automatic monitoring and uh, adaptations will stop but there is actually not much reason to not do this so yeah that's pretty much it very short tutorial today Thanks for watching. Drop me your comments down below. Leave me a question if you want to see other parts of DF Hack explored and explained. And yeah, thumbs up or subscriptions would be wildly appreciated. Hope you enjoyed and happy auto butchering, everybody.